Hey guys, today I'm testing soft boxes, the big soft lighting for faces on people. And I'm testing small to big to see what the differences are on the face. And there's different kinds, different companies. I have my model here, Kara as always. I usually take a little thing like this on location because it's lightweight. A lot of places we go, you need permits or it's like a place where they don't allow photography. So I, I wanna go in, take a shot and leave before anybody stops and asks questions. But if you have a big thing like this standing there, they're going to come up to you right away and say, do you have a permit for here? Do you have some kind of authorization? It's not easy to set something like this up quickly. So what's, let me talk in the microphone. What's the difference between the big one and the little one? The bigger it is, general rule is the bigger it is, the softer the lighting, the less wrinkles you see. Oh, the more younger you look, the more... Imperfections. Whatever, yeah. All right, let's work our way from the smallest to the largest, starting with the basics. These are the flashes I use, and they come with these parabolic dishes on the front that has a diffuser that you put over the front of it. Now, I know these aren't soft boxes, but you'd be surprised if you know what you're doing. You can get some pretty good pictures using just these. Here's examples of pictures I've used using just this thing. One of these, like the AD360, mounted on top of a camera. It's great for throwing light a lot farther than a softbox. The shadows are not exactly that soft, but this is what a lot of wedding photographers use, sports photography. It's good for on the beach or anywhere where you have to move fast and you're outside and you're on location. These work really good, and the light output from this is a lot more powerful than a softbox. I'm going to show you another video how you can get a softbox type look using just this stuff. You got to have one of these with you when you go anywhere. This is the 200, this is the 360, and that's the 600. The real purpose of flashes is to fill in shadows. That's the first step. If you fill in the shadow with anything, that's a good start. Compare these test shots between the 8600 basic 7 inch diffuser can with a huge Westcott XXL 42 inch professional softbox. Sure, those tiny nose and chin shadows are softer with the big one, but setting up a big huge softbox and getting asked for permits and insurance just isn't worth the difference a lot of the time. Here I'm using an 8600, which is the basic 7-inch diffuser can with a Godox 2x3 foot as a fill light. If you want to move fast and not be conspicuous or take time setting up big softboxes, this is a great shoot, fast, dependable fallback you know you can always use. All right, our first step in our softbox journey is to start with the little guys. These little guys don't laugh. I've taken so many pictures with these little ones using nothing but this on location. Here's some of the pictures I've taken with these. They're made for close quarter work where the light is not that far from the person, but the effect is pretty darn good. So here's the 17 inch Godox. It's real easy. Matter of fact, you can walk around with this thing just like this. It weighs nothing. It's so easy to use. The Godox model number is ADS7. It costs $50 and comes with a beauty dish plate, diffuser, and a honeycomb grid. This goes on the 200 and the 360. All these pictures were taken just with the little 17 inch and the basic AD200 on top of the camera. It's very portable, very lightweight, and I'm very happy with the results. This is the 23 inch. It's by Glow. All you do is pull these rods in place like this and you're ready to go. It just goes on real easy like that. And it's on. These pictures were taken with nothing but a 23 inch glow hexapop and a bare 360 for the hair light. Pretty good for a small little softbox. Cool thing about these glow porta pops or whatever they're called is you just push this button and they all collapse down. They have bigger versions of this too. The bigger they are, the more difficult it is to push that button. And it's got the white thing already attached to the front of it. Notice my highly sophisticated uh, photography terms, the white thing. The Glow Hexapop 24 inch is not cheap though at $125, sometimes as high as 150. Everybody thinks bigger is better. It's not always the case. If you have two smaller lights, each knocking out each other's shadows, you don't need one big one. And it's a lot easier to travel with two small ones that everybody laughs at says wow those are too small you can't get decent lighting with that but when you have one on one side and one on the other this is the kind of lighting you can get as long as the shadows get canceled out and a lot of times I have a third light on top of the camera just to hit it straight on to knock out anything that's caught in the middle you can get some pretty darn good pictures using just these little tiny portable ready to go modifiers of course having two big ones one on each side is the best scenario but it's a hassle to have to carry and set up two giant soft boxes in the middle of nowhere and having the wind blow them over have to have people hold them Having two little ones is so much easier. 
So now we move up to the mid-sized ones. The first one up is the Godox 29 inch one. It's 21 inches deep, which is great because the deeper one is, the more directional the light is rather than just throwing it all over the place randomly. It's pretty small, it's lightweight. It's actually really easy to open. It has flaps here that you can just stick your hand in and uh, push a button and it collapses down. And then to open it up, you just put your hand in the side again and click it in the place. It's that easy. The 32 inch 80 centimeter Godox is actually 29 inches, but I don't care. It looks just as fabulous as the big 48 inch, which is actually 43. The 29 inch sometimes looks even better for some reason. I just love the light this thing creates. It has two diffusion levels. It has the outer one, which you never have to take off once it's on, and the inner one, which you can see has the rod sticking through it, so there's no worry about it poking the inner diffuser. and. You can see the mechanism here. It's, it's just a typical umbrella mechanism where you can just push it and it closes or you poke it in until it clicks and you're done. And of course you can stick your hand in here from the side and do the same thing. All right, next one up is the Cheetah QSB 34, which is actually only 32 inches. <laughs> Popping it open is relatively easy. You push it in, it takes a little more effort than the Godox. Ugh. There, it's in place, really tight. To close it, you just push the button and it just closes instantly. I love that about the Cheetahs, they're great. The Cheetah QSB 34 measures 32 and costs around $150. Here's what the lighting looks like. And the other thing I like about it is, notice the low profile Bowens mount adapters. The other ones are considerably higher, meaning it's eating up some of the bulb that's not poking through into the silver area. So that's really good, this is well thought out. The Cheetahs are really well made. The next one up is the 27 inch by 27 inch, I call it the square thing. It's by Godox and Glow. Comes in a little bag like this, and I really like the light this thing puts out. You need a Bowens mount flange adapter, or it comes with a S mount if you have just a speed light or a smaller one like an AD360. The whole thing fits in a little bag. It comes with the inner and outer diffuser. Check this out. Pop and pop. There. Now the thing I don't like about these, they come with these little tiny hooks that hold the inner diffuser in place and these hooks are a hassle. They're really hard to push open with your fingers and to get them into place. So what I did as a fix is I took some pliers and I just made a hook out of it. So I just hook it into place. You can do this yourself. You just go bring. I know what you're thinking. Why don't you just leave the diffusers attached? You can't because when, remember how this thing closes up like that, it would rip them apart. You can't do that. So you have to take them out every time, but the good thing is, look how small this thing. Both the Godox and Glow 80 by 80 centimeter quick boxes are 27 by 27 inches, which in square inches equates to a 32.5 round octa, which actually is 80 centimeters. And these only cost $26. To put the connector on, you just stick the connector right in those things. There, it's connected. It goes into this little tiny little bag and that's it. Next up is the 33 inch Westcott Rapid Box XL. This is my favorite. I just love the way the light looks coming out of this thing. It has a zipper in the side that you can stick your hand in to pull the thing open and close. There. So now I didn't even have to take the front off or the diffusion inside and you're ready to go on this. The light quality this thing produces is my favorite out of all of them. Here I'm using a Westcott RapidBox 34 on the left, a Cheetah QSB 32 on the right, and a Bear AD200 as the hair light. This is without the lights, and this is with. Now closing this thing is kind of tricky. I don't like the way this thing closes. There's no button to push. There's nothing to pop instantly. You have to pull on the flange and there's nothing really to grab onto to pull. So I'm trying to, there's nothing. They say to turn it. The, the older ones you had to turn first before you, you pull it. But this one, I mean, I could be standing here for minutes trying to, well, that's the one thing I hate about this thing. Come on, ah, finally. 
see how long that took? That's the one thing I don't like about this. Everyone has something I like and something I don't like. Here I'm using a Westcott Rapid Box XL with a Godox two foot by three foot as a fill light. For my personal testing, the mid-sized ones are just as good as the big ones. So when I go on location and need to work fast, I definitely prefer the mid-sized ones. The ones that are roughly around 30 inches or 80 centimeters. Okay, this is the only rectangle I have. It's a Godox. Uh, I don't know what model number it is, but it's 24 by 34. So if you were to take that square inches and make a octagon out of it, it would be 29 inches. So this is a mid-range. It's not an insta-pop, whatever you call it. You actually have to manually put the rods in. There's only four of them, so it doesn't take that long. I try to keep this thing open, ready to go in the trunk of the car. It takes up a lot of space, but it's not that big. This thing only costs 25 bucks. Unbelievable. And look at the light quality it puts out. I bought two of these for 50 bucks. The similarly sized Westcott Rapid Box XL is around $150, and the XXL is $300. It has the inner diffuser, outer diffuser. Again, the inner diffuser uses those annoying hooks, but if you take pliers and just make an open hook out of it, it makes it a lot easier to get them in and out. Here is the most portable of the mid-range ones. This is a 29-inch Godox. They say it's a 30, it's a 29, but it's an umbrella with a white diffuser on it. What you do is, like, an, like a real umbrella, see how small it is, how portable this is? Okay. Just like an umbrella. You just go like that, you're done. There's no inner diffuser because the light points inwards. Yeah, actually, the light is mounted on the inside like this. But it has a soft diffuser on the outside that you can stick on here. And the light quality this little lightweight thing puts out really surprised me. And this thing only costs 20 bucks? And when paired with a $25 Godox 2x3 foot on the other side, you can make almost anyone look like a teenager again. I'm telling you, Godox is unbeatable. And as far as closing it up, that's it, you push a button, it's done. It doesn't get easier than that. If you're traveling, you don't have a lot of space, this is it. And it, there's no big giant Bowens mount connector or anything. It's just a little umbrella, so it's lightweight, it's small. And this thing only costs 20 bucks? Now we get into the big ones. This is the Cheetah QSB42. It's just like the mid-size one. It has like an umbrella, you have to push. This one takes a little more effort because it's bigger, but you like an umbrella, and I like this because it has a button right here. It has a button you push, bam, and it comes right off. You just push the button, that's it. I like that, and again, it's got the low profile Bowens connector. They come in all kinds of connectors, but I use Bowens mount, so this is really good for having more light bulb actually sticking into the the unit. Now here's one of the good things about the higher quality ones. Here's like the Cheetah for example. The inner diffuser, the inner diffuser diffuses the light a lot more obviously. The more layers of diffusion you have, the softer the light. But there's usually a hot spot in the middle because that's where the light bulb is. In this case they have a double diffusion sewn into the middle. So this is like a two stops lower than this is. And then they have some light leaking out through the silver area which then lights up this. So what you're getting when this is all closed up is a very even light because the cheaper ones they have a hot spot in the middle and that shows up as the highlights on the person's face. The bigger Cheetah QSB42 measures 40 and costs around $175. Here's what the lighting looks like. Then there's the Rapid Box XXL. This is 42 inches. Just like the mid-sized Westcott, you have a zipper in the side that you can get your arm in. It's not easy to close, in my opinion, but it is easy to open. And you can keep the diffusers on once they're on. This is a big one, and I really, really like the light quality. The Westcott Rapid Box XXL 48 measures 42 inches and costs $300. The Westcott's come with a beauty dish that you can put on there. I don't like these things. I just throw them away. I don't need them. I don't like the look it gives me. So one thing I want to point out between the brand differences is the connector. So. The light is a Bowens mount. This is one of the most common mounts, and this is the Bowens mount connector. Now, this one, which is the Westcott, the Rapid Box, look at how high this connector is here. So, some of this connector is going to actually hide some of this light. So, only this much light is going to be poking through this. Now, this one, which is the Cheetah, 
Notice how low profile that connector is. It's only like, it's less like, it's like half an inch. So there isn't a lot of light bulb being hidden is this one. This one has a lot more light. This buries the light bulb a lot more. So the light bulb actually isn't poking through that much. Next up is the big Godox. This one is 43 inches, a little bigger than the Westcott. All you gotta do is stick your arm in the side and click it into place, close the flap and you're ready to go. This thing is great. Once the diffusers are on this thing, you don't ever have to take them off again. So I really like that. And again, to close it, you just push the button and it closes. Great. I love this thing. This is great for ease of use. And the look is pretty good too. Here's what the lighting looks like. The Godox 120 centimeter 48 inch measures 43 and costs around $75. The release button, it comes right off. And then to close it, you just push the button inside like an umbrella and you're good to go. I just love Godox. The bigger the surface of the light box is, the bigger the reflection in the eyes is. This is called a catch light. And the bigger the white circle in the eyes is, the more attractive the person appears to be. This is kind of a subliminal thing that a lot of photographers know, uh, and it's a trick. I mean, of course you could Photoshop them bigger, but that's another good benefit of having bigger lights. One thing that frustrates a lot of people is the connector on the back, the bonus connector, rotates. So when they try to attach it to the light, this thing rotates so it won't click into place. Well, the reason these things rotate is when you have a square softbox, you can turn it so it's horizontal, diagonal, or straight. That's what it's designed for. But when you have a round thing, <laughs> turning it's not gonna make any difference, so you don't need it to turn. So these units have screws on the back that you can tighten. This is the Cheetah, it's got four of them. You tighten all four, and then it won't rotate. And the Godox is even better. It's only got one. That's the knob. You just turn it, and then eh, it's in place. It won't rotate anymore. The Godox stuff is some of the easiest stuff to set up and take down because they just pop a button and it goes. Now remember, almost all the Godox soft boxes, light modifiers, the, the rods come separate from the the fabric part. All I did was stick it together and hot glue the ends of the rods to the fabric so it's just so it just becomes one piece. So from that moment on it's a ready to go thing where I just stick my arm in and it's ready to go and you click it in. That's it. No assembly required. I mean they're the fastest ones, the easiest ones. I love Godox. It's one of my favorite. Well thought out, fast to use, inexpensive, well built, great light modifiers. The bigger the thing is, the better the light source, the softer it is, but you've got something that's going to catch the wind and it's this big giant thing that says, look at me, look at me. So everybody's going to be staring. People are going to come up and ask if you have permits and all that kind of stuff. So this, there's benefits and there's non-benefits too. And this thing blew over three times already with two sandbags on it. So I had to put a 40 pound dumbbell on the bottom to keep it from falling over. This thing is amazingly, uh, they're, they're lightweight, but they're, they're really easy for catching wind. Whatever they say on the packaging or in the advertisements, it's never that size. This one here, it's got a little label on it. It says it's 26 inches. So let's measure it from the longest point to the longest point. It's 24. Let's take it to the shortest point to the shortest point. It's 21. If this was a circle, it would be between 21 and 24. So this is actually a 22 and a half, not a 26. And they all do that. They're all never the size they say they are. They're always smaller than what they say they are. Now this is a QSB 42. So this is supposed to be 42 inches. Let's measure it, shall we? White to white, 39 inches. They might be measuring, you know, if the black edge, the very edge, is all the way pulled out, maybe it's 42 inches, but there's no light there. The light only goes to the edge of the white. And that is only 39 inches. Where's the other four inches? Am I the only one to ever say this? I love the sound that diffusing material makes. When I watch other people talk about their soft boxes and they play with this stuff, I get goosebumps. It's like AMSR. It's, I, it's not manly to say that. That's why nobody ever says it. Am I gonna be the first one to say I don't really see a lot of difference between a lot of these? I mean, I just went through 20 light modifiers. There's a little bit of difference, but I don't think it's world changing between one and the other. What's really important to me isn't necessarily 
the biggest gear possible. What's important to me is, can I make it small and fit it in the trunk of my car? Can I park the car, pull over to the side of the road, whip out real quick and take a picture, get in the car and take off before the rangers find me or whoever it is, you know, the people in charge that don't allow you to take pictures. So I'm gonna post at the end or below a chart of the different lights that I used, how big they really are, what the lighting looks like, how much they weigh, and how small of a size they fold down to when traveling. Again, it's not necessarily the gear. It's how you use it and what you like personally. So I hope this helped a little bit. I wouldn't stress too much about which light modifier to get. Get the one that you feel best with, that makes you feel good, that gives you that warm, tingly feeling. <laughs> I mean, it's your buddy. Make it work. There's always a way to make it work. Be creative with what you have and don't worry about what you don't have.